hello back YouTube and uh, let's uh, head on onwards so yeah started over have platinum have tetrahedrite it's the same world we didn't even kill the fortress we retired it we're just uh, farming reindeer now cause reindeer don't worry we will sacrifice them, eventually, to the dark god known as Santa. And when we run out of reindeer, we're gonna start sacrificing children. It's gonna be great. Oh look, and they are actually... They've actually managed to hunt down some elk, the hunter has. Sweet, well done. And they're actually processing them, sort of. Sweet. I should actually start a timer. Because even if I'm making an hour long episodes for YouTube, I should still time those. Yep, and there goes all the useless crap. The mechanisms. We need one more mechanism to hook up the bridge. Speaking of, we should set up the lever at least. And an armor stand, obviously, of the platinum -y goodness because eventually this will be a room for the military dwarves to sort of guard the fortress in crappy crappy copper armor with a few imported weapons it's gonna be great mostly because it's gonna be so failful is the bridge not done yet well, it's being made now, so that's okay. Yes, yes, works it, works it, works it harder. Yes, good dwarf. So we have our bridge. Hook it up with sandstone, that's good. And citrines, we have struck citrines apparently. Oh, they're doing it, they're mining it in the derpy way. Oh, you fail. Tanzanite. Whoa, Tanzanite is valuable, actually. Not like Tanzanite. Tanzanite sounds good. Let's have a few of those. Yes, thank you. Thank you. More Tanzanite, please. Thank you. Yes, yes. Oh, fuck. Okay. So we're gonna get an artifact. A platinum one. No. No, it's not a platinum one, it's sterling silver. If our value skyrockets before we're ready, we're gonna get attacked by something, and that will suck. As in, we'll get attacked when our value skyrockets anyway, but... Uh, don't want it to happen that. We don't want it to happen too soon, do we? I think we need to dig down deeper. We need to go deeper. Yes. Go. Go, go, go. Alexandrite. That's more damage, isn't it? Yes, it is. Let's have some of those as well. Cause gems. What happened? Wait, a child actually grew up? Huh, thought that that was a myth. Which one are you? I've made an amazing artifact. <laughs> okay, okay, you think you should be a farmer, do you? You know what happens with children that grow up. Don't you? You get to go on guard. Forever. <laughs> you know. Let's add a uniform and just give them a weapon of their choice. A melee weapon of their choice. Yes. 
Damn it. Equip. Assign uniform. Uniform form. Actually, no. Let's... Let's be generous. Let's give them a shield as well. Yeah. Yeah. Sign uniform. Uniform 4. There you go. And you. Make me a wooden shield. As your very next thing. Active training. Good. Now like this. You are training there. We will use them to spear wounded animals as well. It will be great. It will in fact be... Oh. What do we have? Like random things like stray llamas. Slaughter that. Yak yeah, cows maybe, but not yet. But yeah, you can train. I'm gonna kill this one for now. Oh look, there appears to be actually be to actually be more coal there. Sweet, go for it. Yeah, we like lignite. Let's have more of that. Make coke from lignite. Yeah, go for it. Get started on that. Let's clear that lignite out. We've mined a lot of it. Now let's uh, burn it all up. Into something useful, that is. There you go. Rock and roll, baby. Rock and roll. Oh, poor baby llama. Boo. Luckily, we have a refuse pile where we can pile the meat. You know what? Yes, we will make this a fortress of blood and bones. We will slaughter animals for the glory of Santa. And let his glorious reindeer witness the carnage outside. And if a reindeer dies, then we will have to sacrifice a dwarf to commemorate the loss of a reindeer. I, th I think that's the only way to do this. Of course, we will need to build a sacrificial chamber of some kind, and by that I mean a shower of some description. But I'm sure we'll manage. Meanwhile, here. Chart blocks, yes, please. Chert blocks of glory. Meanwhile, here. Here, here, here. Here. Hmm, chert blocks, yes. Yes, more. Gonna cover the floor in glorious blockage. Because, 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 our mason needs the practice, because we have a lot of them, because using these is a good building material, and because we don't want soil in here, especially once we open up the caverns. So all of this gets, uh, first of all, floored with blocks. Then... We are going to build the stairs out of those as well. Because that's just how we roll. Yes. All the floors. All the glorious floorings of floriness. Excellente. Yeah, now just fill it with blocks, it'll be great. Get to work. Kind of dark though. Might just be because there's some of those grey-black 
not built ones, but those does seem kind of dark. Use those. Oh well. The walls look nice though. I don't know, maybe it's because the uh, soil stuff is so bright. But I do know that some of this will need to be dug. Now, gems. Gems are glorious. We like gems. Yes, let's see if there are any more. Yes, there's one more there. Good. <laughs> And that's just essentially a random stockpile of nothingness. Good to know. Okay, a cat has given birth to kittens. So it begins. So it begins. I could make traps here filled with like wooden weaponry, but... I don't know. I'm not convinced that that's how I want to roll with this. You are doing that, that's good. Let's make some proper up downstairs here. Don't have as many blocks as I would like for that, obviously. There you go. Make some of those, please. Thank you. Yeah, and I built the floors with no problem. Now it's properly floored out. Excellent. Good, good, good. Good. How many furnace guys do I have? Three? Three, but one of them is being a lazy bitch. Wonderful. Okay. Brew drink from plants. Start now, because people are getting thirsty and this is not gonna end well. Needs a mechanism. Oh. So wheat, I suppose. That's a thing. Let's make sure to dig that out and make a mechanism because I do want that well. And we don't have a water source, do we? Like at all. We're like fucked on water sources. We're all gonna die horribly. Cheers! They're all thirsty. Ooh. That's one barrel of booze. Plenty of booze in there, though. Like 30 units. That would last us for a little while, I suppose. Right. Right. Where are you carrying? Drink from it! You fool! You fool! You done fucked it up! Plant gathering. What you do when you start being desperate. Strip mine this. Everyone except the brewer who will actually be doing other things to help the fort survive by actually making this into booze. But strip mine all of it. Every last plant there is. Go! And you are making a second planting of plump helmets, aren't you? Good, in theory. And you are trying to make more booze. <laughs> yeah, yeah, more booze is okay. I do feel like these should be walled, though. Just saying. Because there's nothing in there and we really should make that thing. Yes, I'm well aware that there's no water source. I'm well aware that we're sort of fucked now. But I think we'll recover. We're not tail spinning yet. Not yet, anyway. So make that mechanics workshop, we'll make the well. In the summer the well is gonna fill with water and maybe, just maybe, we'll be okay. Uh, 
I wish there was an option to like just take ice and uh, warm it by burning fuel or wood or whatever because that would be awesome but that's not a thing okay and that has been walled excellent I think we might have enough plants to actually booze properly yeah we it might be okay I think it's gonna be okay in fact starting to look better very few actually you know thirsty dwarves around make that now I want that well ready for when we really need it and you mister booze maker you are at skill level one which means you have gotten some skill through the making of the booze well done yeah 450 to 600 is good that's fine you can use the stuff we had set up from the last fortress on that account at least alright where do we want to spread out a bit and look for more platinum I think that this level might be okay in theory so well play that actually we will go looking around for more after we're done with the current jobs but first we're gonna dig down and find some copper deposits because I th think those are mildly more important and you, you just gather some berries so that we can make some more booze. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. That is perfectly fine. Excellent. That will do. Yes, 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 yes. They're gonna strip mine it and it's gonna be fine. Good! And then there's a lot of coke that is still being moved inside. Obviously. Okay. I could make some chairs and tables. Temporary ones. But I really don't want to make them out of stone, to be honest. Now he is doing the forging, he's just not doing a lot of it, he's just being a derp, generally speaking. And yes, that's just cooking up the, all the lignite into coke as well. And you're busy making me bins and barrels. That's okay-ish. That's okay-ish. We can work with that. I would find a furniture stockpile useful at about this point. So why don't we have at least a temporary one here? There we go. We'll need two more doors for that. Don't know how much platinum I have left, but actually something like four doors is even better. So let's make some. Let's make some freaking doors, shall we? Wait a minute. Is it springtime? I think it's springtime. Yeah, springtime, baby. Springtime. And I know that this upper level looks really derpy. But we will arrange it and rearrange it until it looks cool. 
We can put up uh, walls from those charred blocks. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna all be okay. Spring has arrived. Yes. And there is our one guard. What did you pick for a weapon? I let you have a choice of what we have. What did you pick? Steel battle axe. Okay, steel battle axe it is. So. What was it? Standing orders. Forbiddance. Do not forbid used ammunition. DBC. We want to claim all of the used ammunition on the map. There. It's, it has been claimed. It is now ours again. Where, oh where, will I put my weapons stockpiles? Can't really put them there. Well, in terms of ammunition at least, since we don't have that much of it, we can put it here temporarily. So let's dig that out and use that for ammo. Someone's actually become a herbalist from all the crap we've been gathering. Wow. Like, wow. Apparently we've been gathering a lot of crap, huh? I did tell them to strip mine half the map. Well, a lot less actually, but... A goodish chunk all the same, like... Two ninths. Oh look, they found some gems. Isn't that precious? Slowly working through the Lignite stockpile, that's good too. Don't have idlers, that is in theory good. Because we're not wasting manpower while still building up the fort. Also means we don't currently have much of a reserve of manpower, which is less good. Yes, keep doing that, that's good, and you just... And that stuff being placed into a bin, that's good too. How are we doing in terms of actual coke? 200 units. Plus all the metric fucktons of it that are in the actual thing. Oh, you're not placing it in bin, you're just gathering to make a door. That's okay too. If I had a craft source workshop, I could make wooden bolts for him to hunt with. Though I would prefer to make actual copper ones once we get down to the levels where there's copper and you are slowly using up that chart which is fine as well okay excellent in theory so this will be the arrow stockpile and move all the arrows we actually have left over to that. When you are able. Hmm. Chart blocks, yes. Let's fill that little corner in. And then later on, like here, we'll want that as well worked on yep there they go good 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 just close all the little annoying gaps yes good well done yeah I think this will be fine honestly this will be good enough for furniture stockpile. We can just keep all of our crap here. All the random pieces of furniture that are just lying around being a thing. Yeah, yeah, that'll work nicely. And then they'll move all the things over and it'll be great. We do have the bins. People just haven't placed the bars in the bins yet, for some reason. Huh. Weird, isn't it?
Okay. Very little ignite left, like 10 units. Which is actually good, that means that it's all more or less processed at this point. And you are busy widening that, which is fine. Lots of coke. That's sort of fine-ish too. Actually... Why don't uh, someone make me a well here? Using one of those newfangled sandstone blocks, huh? There you go. Go for it. Lapis lazuli, you say? Okay, mine that out as well. Why I bother with these gems, I don't know. It's not like I even particularly intend to use them, but... Eh, it's gems. Might as well have huge piles of gems lying around, right? Stray reindeer cow. Okay, so that little calf has grown up. Carrot wine barrel. Fucking carrot wine. You would use anything to get crunk, wouldn't you, dwarves? Oh, I really don't want to use rock chairs and throw tables. I really don't want to. Okay, dig down, 20 levels. Find me some gold or failing that at least some freaking tetrahedrite, please. Yeah, so close to being re having used up all that. Good, good, good. Best keep it as bars, ready to use. We come here in hopes of a better life. Oh great, more of those fuckers have arrived. Red flash opals, eh? Ooh, fancy. Dig those out then. So we have migrants. One of them has a child. I can't sign that I approve. Wow, there's a lot of them too. So essentially... Yeah, we're gonna be hitting 50 dwarves very easily here. I think. Well, 40 at least. But holy crap, look at those mounts of hunters! Do I want to allow that many hunters? Do I really want to allow that? I'm tempted to allow it, actually. Because, jeez, if we're going for blood and carnage, then that's definitely a good start. How many in total? Just around 50, eh? Just slaughter all the animals. Teach Santa the meaning of worship through carnage, huh? Okay, six hunters then. Don't need any more farmers, do we? Nor particularly much of this crap. We could make cheese from the crap we do have. Okay. So we have those guys. We're not gonna starve. Okay. Let's say six engravers. Another booze guy, two guys for that. Let's say a couple of crafters. Couple of crafters, yes. Then a couple of clothes makers, because we will inevitably need those. Then people who have spinning, weaving, plant processing, the like. Like three of those ought to be two of those. Let's go with two of those. 
That leaves one guy open. What do we do with him? Hmm. Uh, we give him weapon and armor smithing. I think. And we didn't even put anyone in the military, did we? Do I want more s that many stone detailers? I think I do. Crafters. Do I need that many crafters? Not really, but we'll leave it the way it is. Red tourmalines, you say? In microline, you say? And there is a lot of different gems, in fact. Okay. A lot of different gems, in fact. Okay. Let's just uh, dig out the ones that are clearly visible right at the very start. And uh, our crafters. I will... Them, I will also give the gem skills. Because they're sort of odd, odd jobs men anyway. And having done that... Let's dig out a thing here and a thing here. Actually, no. Let's dig it out like this. Make that a jewelry area. So, having done that, let's smooth out this area for random crap. Let them start working on making it nicer. Yeah, yeah, I think that's good. And meanwhile, up above, the hunters, the hunters can be our skirmisher screen. And I can kill any animals that actually are foolish enough to enter the map. Any animal that comes in here is just gonna get swarmed with hunters, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be really great. Oh look, and there come the miners. About to do their thing. Yes, indeed. So I'm gonna cut up all the gems I have. Including the rock crystals, I think. Gonna give them their two places. Again, gonna make that with platinum. And... Where platinum at? Was that like the last piece? Well, they're gonna have to do without, and we can only make workshops out of platinum. It's a rule. I'm sorry, but that, there it is. It's a rule. Oh, look. Gems. Gems that have not been claimed yet. Okay, that should be good. Lots of idlers. Less good that. You know, if our masonry is going to be up here, as it looks it might be, we should keep our stone stockpile here for feeding into it. There you go, you do the gem thing, that's good. Lapis lazuli, and just all the gems. There we go. Just all the things. Just get started. Just make a start. Start working through some of those. And you are taking your sweet time with that, aren't you? Build CX. There you go. No. Here it's gonna be a downstair. No. Downstair, not upstairs. There we go. 
No! Foolishness! Seize this foolishness game! Downstairs. Without this stupid crap, I just want to... Use shirt blocks, not actual shirt. Processed stone, you know? It's important. It's like you don't get it. Yep, there we go. And just surround it with the things because... You don't want fungus and crap growing around the stairway. That's icky. Uh-uh. No. -oh. Just no. -oh. Not here. Not under my watch. No, it won't. And it does give us an excuse to get rid of at least some of the rock that ends up cluttering my fortress. Could always just mass produce stone goblets. Or stone mugs rather. That does help. As well. A lot in fact. So there we see some glorious platinum doors. Ah, on hindsight, or rather, on second thought, let's uh, put the platinum doors here instead. I think it'll be a nicer place for them, instead of on the actual stockpile. Because a lot of people come through here for the butcher shops and the like, whereas, yeah, like there. More of a chance that someone will go through them and get a happy thought about an awesome door. Of Dorishness. Yes, doing things. That did take care of the idlers, giving them so much to do. For a little while, while they're actually doing it. Won't matter later, of course. Because then it'll be done and they'll need something else to do. See, my logic is impeccable. Read Dwarves. What the fuck do we have here? Yeah, that's Vabo. That's just kills and shit. You on the other hand are meaningless because you're just random crap. Datan! X Dwarf level 1, almost level 2 X Dwarf. Well done, Datan. You impress me, you little peasant, you. It does look really nice once it's actually smooth, though. Don't you think? The new wall graphics are very nice, and these look really sweet. Whew, okay. I could of course dump a lot of stone. That could of course be a thing that I do, but not particularly eager to do that. For any number of reasons. Okay, you are digging. That's good. Hmm. Yes. There we go. There we go. <laughs> okay, happy, happy smoothing times. That is gonna take a while for them to get good at smoothing and... It, yeah, it goes very slowly, especially at the lower levels when they are just plain suck at it. So, yeah... Can't really expect that to go particularly quickly. Red pyrops have been struck. Oh my, oh my, oh my. It's like there's more gems in here once you go to get past the things. Sweet. And you are happily picking them up one by one and cutting them into something. Awesome. That is, in fact, perfectly, perfectly awesome. Very much so. 
Wow. Apparently. Oh. Now, now it works. Oh, hey, there's actually a few people watching. Hey, guys. I wonder what copper doors look like, if they're like this orange, but, you know, if they're shiny, but orange. Because that would be good. Just this shiny, shiny orange door. It would really fit well, I think. With these upper levels that I just show so, so orangey. Platinum. We've struck a pocket. That's good news. We can make a few more platinum doors. Hey, big man. How's it going? And there's even more platinum. Platinum. I think a stone stockpile for chert would be good. Fuck off, involved. Nobody cares what you're playing. Yes, go. Leave. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you too. As you can see, we've started a new fortress and we're doing... Well, we're pasturing out Santa's reindeers. We will uh, appease the god of reindeers and death with death and reindeers. It's gonna be great. I'm debating. Yeah, I'll, I think I'll dig that out because it's ruining my color scheme. Honestly. Yeah. And replace that with a chart block. I might not even engrave it. I think it'll look better if it's not engraved. You know, this RNG goodness. How oh, does it go? I think I'll make my living quarters here on these two levels. And maybe try and keep as much of my workshops up here as possible. To an entirely different approach. Just this vast convoluted workshop level. That could be a thing. That could very well be a thing. Hmm. Well, we're gonna see, aren't we? I do want that ma uh, native platinum to be smelted ASAP, yo. So get on that. Please. Someone's grown to become something something. Oh look, a lot of kittens have actually been born as well. Or been brought here. Huh. In theory, maybe I shouldn't turn these into actual... Freaking... What's his face? Oh, doors and the like. I should turn them into goblets most likely. So I can have a good chunk of things to trade with. Honestly. Uh, why don't we dig this out and make this a finished good stockpile for goblets and the like. This will be our treasure room. And ditch that. There you go. There we go. Maybe... No, we won't find anything good here because this is... In the other biome, there won't be platinum there. Will there. Okay. This will be the start of the branch mine. Where we look for platinum. For that, I will need two platinum doors. Furniture. Platinum. Two platinum doors. Thank you. And someone's actually become an engraver. What, did you get your first skill level as a engraver? Isn't that precious? Isn't that freaking precious, duckling? Well, I could put my main workshop level, like, deeper in. That could be a thing. And the platinum ore is already processed. 
My, did that take a long time or what? Huh. Yeah, they just churned through it like it was nothing. Not that I disapprove, well done. This is sandstone, which is slightly different, but it looks actually exactly the same and smooth. So that's actually good. Sweet. Nice. Very nice indeed, and you're just doing your thing. Excellent. And you are doing your thing. Excellent. Where could I set up a freaking uh, gem stockpile? Hmm. Just branch mine everywhere. Just branch, 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 branch mine. Yeah, it'll be awesome. It will be awesome. Cause branch mine. I love looking for platinum. You get to mine shit, and you get to watch them just chew up the map, and you get a prize as well at the end. It's it's nice. It's awesome, in fact. Because you get a prize. Look at him go, the little precious. There go the doors. I would like to place one of them here. To lock off the branch mine. Hmm. Yeah. You know what? In fact, let's make a third one because... No, let's not. Other objects. Platinum goblets are... Make all of the platinum goblets. All of them. Yes. All of them. And someone's gonna come and dig that out anyway, aren't they? Diggity! There you go, enjoy, darling. Enjoy. Enjoy, little dwarves, enjoy. Those look so shiny, I wish I had more of them. But that's why we're branch mining, to get more of them, aren't we? Cause gods, but those look cool, huh? Apparently no things there. To really... Really benefit from. Or I don't know, platinum there. Not yet. Don't worry, we'll find more. Okay, finished goods. Goblets. In fact, we'll keep all of these weird crap here like amulets, scepters, crowns, rings, earrings, bracelets, large gems, totems even. All the crap which is essentially sellables. There we go. And you are making booze for us. How are we on booze? Okay, we can take it off of, off of being a priority task then. We can just chillax, which is great. You have brought out back an osprey mutilated corpse. I have a feeling we should probably turn that into meat. Do you dwarves concur? I think they do. I think they get it. Yes, wheelbarrows. No. As much as 10. Use all the wheelbarrows for that if you need to. 
All of them. Resuming production, wooden wheelbarrow. My oh my, it looks like we're low on our supply of unclaimed wheelbarrows. Wonder how that could have happened. Sweet. Wheelbarrowiness it is. <laughs> and uh, yes, yes, let's um, queue up some branch mine. See if we can get a little bit more platinum, cause I'm still like limited by my supply of metal, and platinum is the best crap that there is on this map. First of all, and I haven't reached the levels where I think I haven't reached the levels where there's tetrahedrite and gold, cause that apparently is very deep, and I'm kind of worried about running into something I can't deal with if I hit a cavern or something. So, that being the case... That being the case, let's... Uh, let's dig up some of this shit, shall we? Yes, we shall. Go, go, go! Dig, dig, dig! And why the frack are all you driving down here for the chert? Seems a foolish way to go after it, but okay. By all means. Do that. Eventually they'll dig that out and it'll be great. <laughs> yes, and you are doing the carpentering, aren't you? Up to level 8. Nice. Respect, dude. Must have required some doing. Could use a few more bags, though. For the seeds and the like. Indeed. And yeah, you are driving up the uh, wheelbarrows full of stone. Which is fine. Wait, what? That looks to have been derped up. So let's do it again, properly. Then wheelbarrows, obviously. And obviously just... Chert. There we go. There, better. I fixed it. Sort of. This will give us chert for like... Years, in fact, this branch mine. Have to keep that in mind, probably. And then there's those finished goods, which we have apparently acquired. In some small way. That's Tiger Eye. We will work with those. Everyone loves a good gem. Seriously, you drag yourselves away to deal with that one pocket of gemage. Really. Fine, fine. Well, I did find some platinum. Platinum is good. Yeah, thank you and a Merry Christmas to you as well. You know, there's platinum here and we just found some, so it's very merry indeed. Santa is pleased. But when Santa gets angry, my god, that's when the sacrifices will start. You cannot even begin to imagine the horror that will be unleashed. And now it's busy auto-saving, obviously. Cause it's summertime and maybe, just maybe, for a week or so, the water will unfreeze and we'll be able to fill our well. Which we built in a derpy, derpy place because of reasons, really. Because we kind of had to. So we have a bit of platinum. That's good. 
Not a lot, admittedly, but some. That is good. Any amount of platinum is a good thing. And that's a lot of tiger eyes as well, which I thoroughly approve of. Speaking of. Native platinum ore. Native platinum ore. Go! Make me some platinum, yo! <laughs> dig my little fuckers, dig. DIG! Yes! Dig! Hmm, and you are doing of the thing, aren't you? It remembers the uh, workflow plugin settings from my previous fortress because it's the same world, which is why there's just weirdness there. But don't worry, it's fine. They'll get used to it. They'll have no choice. I know. Sounds completely dramatic and completely bullshit. That's because it's not supposed to make sense. It's just meant to sound dramatic. Yeah, yeah, you are of the suck. That is true. You are very much of the suck. Um, this little hallway thingy first, including the workshoppings. Here. After you're done with the forges and smelters. Just make sure you get the wall. And so they just went boozing, some of them. Great. Well, they're bound to find more platinum in the branch mine. Surely. Lot of tiger eyes, though. Very nice, though. I like tiger eyes. Tiger eyes are nice. Cool to have them. Hmm. Do have a lot of idlers, unfortunately, but I don't really see how I can keep them busy. Because some of them are the hunters, and others are like spinners and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not sure how I could make that a thing reasonably. And what, pray tell, are you doing, my dears? Just smoothing. Um, these rooms as well will need to be smooth. So yeah, you just keep on working on that, that's gonna be great. And just, ooh, Masterpiece Platinum Goblet. Well, isn't that special? Special. With a U. Cause reasons. <laughs> Tiger irons. Completely useless. Let's mine them anyway. Yes. Yeah, smooth it out. Make it look nice. Needs more shiny doors though. And for that of course I need more platinum. So, game, don't fuck with me. Give me the platinum I need. Well, to be fair, I am turning a lot of my platinum into platinum goblets to bring my value up. Aren't I? Ooh. Here's a thought. Litast, you are gonna be a manager. Litast. And a bookkeeper, of course. Because why would I waste two dwarfs on a job that one can do? And yes, we have in fact struck native platinum. Is that not special? Well... 
he is gonna need a door for his office and probably a throne and a table there we go make those sigh and yes yes you just work on native platinum ore luckily we just found some more so go and get it is that workshop order no okay good 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 I would really like to be able to tell precisely, exactly what we have in the fort, value-wise. Because I'm a curious fucker, and I'm curious. And that's you grabbing the platinum, that's okay. So what, two, three pockets found here so far? Worthwhile digging for it. Oh look, one of the hunters found a thing and he killed it. Wow, so awesome. Puffin corpse. A puffin. What the fuck is a puffin? Well, I suppose no one cares now. Cause it's dead. Shouldn't need too much crap here. Because... They're humans, yo. Goblet. Goblet. Of Goblatines, carry all of them upstairs. So, Broker, do we want to replace you? No, we actually don't. Because you have gotten good. Look at all of them go. Look at all of them go. And what goods, pray tell, do you bring, O oh glorious traders? Careful now, I have one military dwarf, I could send him out to kill you all. If they have weapons, we'll probably pick them up if they're weapons that dwarves can comfortably use. Just to give our guys greater possibility of choice for when they decide which weapon they'll have in their hand when they die horribly. Why the fuck do... Seriously, did I not tell you not to bring ropes and the like there? Stupid fucking dwarves. Now I'm gonna have to be careful while trading. Okay, random metallic crap. Sure. Random glass crap. Sure. Random rope crap. Eh, sure. Not the really expensive one, but I'll take the water skin. Those are always fun. What else do you have? Booze. Yeah, yeah, we like booze. We like the fact that you have booze. We would have liked even better if we had your booze. So how about we make a trade? Bronze. Bronze crap. Don't care about the breastplates. A couple of bronze shields won't hurt. That's random crap, random crap, nobody gives a fuck. That's some bins, we'll pick those up later, because there's an easier way to select all of them. Oh yeah, yeah, they came with a supply of leather and cloth, I like that. They came with bolts for our hunters, I proved this message as well. Some iron anvils, which we actually don't need. I'm just being greedy. So, that's good. Just grab all that. Some thread. Yes, quiver, backpack, looks good. And cheese, of course. Glorious cheese. You know, we could make cheese of our own. We have a decent sized flock of, uh, you know, Animals. Mostly reindeer, but some yaks as well. Yes. Enjoy. Have fun. Have the fun of it. And I think that's... Wait. 
Did we take the bins? I don't think we did, did we? So we'll take all of this and we'll give you three more platinum goblets. No, 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 four platinum goblets. Ah? Huh? There we go. Platinum -y goodness. Enjoy it. Also, we have food now. For long. Well, it occurs to me that um, bags. Do you have any bags? Don't care about your seeds. That may be bag, 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 baggity, bag, bag, bag. For two whole more platinum goblets. There you go, stupid humans. Mine, yonk. And uh, I'm gonna split the YouTube video on step away for like a two minutes and I'll be right back so I'll see you guys in a moment <laughs> 